Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. It's me and Mr. Walker for this prediction for the Leeds game on Wednesday night. Um, so we're all on the back of our live question answer Monday night. Uh, so, Mark, another tough one coming up against an attacking team. So is it going to be another Steve Bruce back against the wall, COVID beating Mags performance? <laughs> It's going to be a, an interesting one, isn't it? Because you like, it's weird that you, you you're a little bit worried about playing Leeds, um, but when you you see the way they've gone about this this season and kind of taking it to some of the like the bigger teams and and had you know maybe not getting results, but they're certainly mm. putting good performances in in, in in worrying teams as well. So well, the last two games on the back of um, two defeats, mate. Uh, to to be honest with you, obviously going in this game, they're probably looking at this one thinking, yeah, of course we can win this. But I've just got off off a podcast there with with a Leeds um, a fan channel, and they said that the teams that they find it hard to play against all the likes of teams like Newcastle United who will sadly, sadly, sadly is that word? Um, so happily sit back and just just absorb the pressure then obviously hit them on the counter-attack. So might work in my favour this one. Um, in regards to, to team-wise from us though, mate, obviously training ground shut for, for 12 days in total last week and the week before. Um, yeah. We saw against West Brom that a lot of players were blown out the horses um, for... for Majority of the, I would say, sixty, yeah, most the second five part, minutes it? onwards. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that a concern for you? Another quick game coming on on Wednesday, just three, four days later. Yeah, I mean, obviously they haven't haven't trained much in the last kind of two weeks. Um, I mean, Steve Bruce even came out and said that even the players that had been that, that kind of gave them um, stuff to be doing in like the local mm -hmm. park and stuff like that. So it's still not going to equip them to be kind of match fit and, and ready. Um, They'll have had probably a good a good week by the time we get round to this game of of getting games in, but I would assume they've had kind of a couple of days rest as well after the weekend as well. So you just yeah. don't know don't know what's so going to happen. Hayden came out after the game in his post match interview and basically said that he's bed bound for for days on end. Um, yeah, eleven he, days. Yeah, and he really struggled in the game. Obviously, we're man of the match by by the the final yeah. whistle. Um, but it, it's personally it it's, it is a bit of a concern for me. Um, we well, haven't got a bigger squad in relation to, to rotation anyway. Um, so I would imagine a lot of the, the players I played on Saturday will be the same as what I'm going to play on Wednesday night there. So I'm not sure, mate. If you're going to put a score prediction on this one, what would you go for? I know you normally struggle um, with your score predictions, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it. Like I've I've got a uh, I suppose it's my cousin-in-law is is a Leeds fan, so I've been speaking to him about. Is that the, a thing, cousin-in-law? Well, that's it's that's what I'm trying. It's like, he's not a cousin because it's like a cousin's partner. So um, yeah, cousin-in-law, and um, he's he's not feeling very confident about the game um, at all, and and I'm not feeling very confident. So. Mm. Um, I think probably probably a draw, um, one yeah. one draw. That was my prediction as well, mate. One one draw. Uh, I can't see Newcastle having many shots at goal. Never mind on target. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Dwight Gale involved. Yeah. At, at, at this one, obviously, he came on, had two headed shots on target. Yes, Dwight Gale, two headed shots on target. Um, but you were buzzing about that. Hey, hey, I, I always give give players credit when they deserve it, and he, he looked lively when he came on. Looked like he had a point to prove, and um, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if we did see him start the game. If I'm being uh, honest, there, eh? um, obviously Murphy as well came on. Um, he looked looked quite lively. I know it wasn't for for a great period of time, but he put that ball in the in the box. The both substituting uh, substitutes linking up well together. So I think there's probably two three players that you could probably bring into the team. Well, we've also got the change in um, isolation guidelines that have came out. So rather than being 14 days, it's now 10, 10 days. Mm -hmm. So could that mean that we've got a couple of, of players that maybe that haven't had the illness but have had to self-isolate, self, self yeah. whether or not that then makes them available to come back in? Um, Obviously, you've got and, Saint there as well, mate. The we, haven't, we didn't see Saint. wasn't involved. It wasn't even in the squad at the weekend. There's one player I want to speak about, and... <laughs> I think a lot of people have have this worry at the front of the mind is is Ryan Fraser. Is is he injured? Is it a long term injury? This is it COVID? Where are we now with Fraser? Because because he is a player that we were all excited to see. Yeah, and and, and Scotland has seen more than what we've seen him this this year. But he was there thereabouts for the for the last game, wasn't it? Before 
full um, were played at the weekend, and then um, he, he went missing again. So we are desperate to see him getting out on the out on the pitch because in in the glimpses that we've seen at him, he's he's looked bright, he's looked a, a, a good threat. So and that's what we need. Um, that that attacking ability. Um, you know, he, like like you said with with Murphy coming on in the second half, Richie mm. um, when he kind of was was playing out wide was was getting forward as well. So we did cause trouble um, to to West Brom when we were playing wide and. The way that that Leeds player kind of with with their attacking um, threats and stuff like that, mm. they'll they'll be looking to push on um, onto us as well. So we'll need to kind of counteract them on the wings and, and allow our players to get behind in and behind them and hopefully cause cause them some uh, some trouble. Yeah, they, um, obviously Leeds are, are two places below, which I was very shocked to find out about. Um, I thought they would have been above in the league, but the, the three points are now two two league positions behind. Obviously, they'll be looking at that thing and a win that that'll put them on on obviously level level terms with Newcastle. Um, it's a great opportunity for them, but it's also a great opportunity for us to start forming a little bit of a gap between ourselves and obviously it's like so 13, 14, 15 down over. Um, so it's it's a winnable game for either team, I would say. Um, but I think like like both were said, a one one draw is, is probably the, the most likely. That'll do me. Right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Uh, don't forget to like and comment as well and we'll see you on the flip side see you later